It's my feel good breakfast show. Right now, man, I, you know what? I love youngsters taking initiative, especially when it comes to looking after the environment in yeah. a sustainable way. And one youngster, her name is Rika Lee. She's 13 year old. She's aspiring to be a marine biologist. And then the passion for aquaponics grabbed her. Now, aquaponics is an in integrated system where you raise fish and you grow plants all in this in incredibly complicated system. But oh. it works so well. And after two years, she has got a flourishing business. Check it out. 13-year-old Rika Lees Reineke is the head girl at Camille Fontaine Primary School, a cross-country athlete, choir member, and part of two other school clubs. She also runs one of the four biggest aquaponics businesses in South Africa. What really inspired me was once I watched the movie Dolphin Tail. It's something in my head just went off and it was like, almost like an alarm and just screamed, fish, fish, fish. Like Rika Lees, her business is quite young, having only been in operation for 18 months. Tending her farm is a normal part of Rika Lise's daily routine. In the morning before I go to school, I usually pop in, see if everything's fine. If there's stuff I want the workers to do around the day or during the day, I write a list and I leave it on the desk and they will do it. Five o'clock when I come back from school, I usually come back to the fish, see if everything's fine. I want to see if the work is done, that what I ask them to do. During the weekends, the routine is very different because then I'm working and I'm cleaning and I have to do the water quality tests. It took me around about 22 months to get my farm till where it is today. Aquaponics is getting a lot of interest locally as it provides an eco-friendly supply of food and doesn't require additional land for farming of vegetables. A win-win situation for poverty-stricken communities looking to create jobs and become self-sustaining. Some of the challenges I'm facing while running my farm is electricity. Electricity is very expensive so I'm trying to, to get, over, get off the grid by using solar. And then also water. Water is very um, expensive, so I'm trying to recirculate and filter the water. Another challenge is temperature. The fish's optimum temperature is around about 27 to 28 degrees. Her father, Donnie, has been supportive of his daughter's impressive ambition and even chaperoned her on a week-long aquaculture course where she learned the ins and outs of her business. The guys down there was a little bit reluctant when I told them, on a, you know, I want to enroll somebody which was only then 12 years old. And the guy said to me, listen, I don't think it's going to work. And I just said to him, listen, this is passion. Don't kill passion. Um, give her a chance. And he said to me, well, if you come to Chaperon, um, then we'll, we'll make a plan. And she fit very, very well. And she passed better than some of the grown-ups there, to everybody's surprise. Contrary to what people think, her father doesn't run her farm. Rika Lees generates enough income to employ an assistant who keeps an eye on the farm while she's at school. The funds at the moment is a hurdle in the way in what she wants to accomplish. She's got big dreams. I don't think it's necessarily only dreams. I think it is, it is reachable targets. So uh, we will work with her in guiding her and mentoring her and how to get there and trying to see if we can uh, get the capital for her to be able to do that. Economists say time and again that it's entrepreneurship that will grow the economy and lead to prosperity for the nation. Not yet in high school, Rika Lees is leading the way, showing that age is no barrier to success.